Who's responsible anyway for all of these cyber attacks? Our investigative reporter Brendan Kirby has been digging into that and he joins me now. So Brendan, where is all this coming from? Well, any cyber attacks can come from anywhere, but one security expert I talked to today says they're primarily coming from abroad, far outside the reach of U.S. authorities. Philip Long, a cybersecurity consultant who's been in business almost 20 years and has offices in Robertsdale and Mobile, says Eastern Europe is a particular hotspot. Countries like Ukraine have the right mix of weak legal enforcement, poor legitimate economic prospects, and highly educated populations with the know-how to exploit vulnerabilities in the United States. And Long says it doesn't take a whole lot of training for cyber criminals to do great damage. He says a seventh grader under the right tutelage could learn enough in about two months. The web is dark. There's, there's almost a 0% chance of getting caught. And uh, if you got a way to be able to move that money from cryptocurrency into fiat money, uh, man, you're golden. National statistics show cyber attacks on businesses are up with the large increase in people working from home during the coronavirus pandemic. Long says he's got no statistics locally, but he says he sees it in his job, helping businesses design security systems and cleaning up after they've been hacked. Long says the Gulf Coast area seems to have a more relaxed attitude when it comes to cybersecurity, but he adds that laid back attitude could make them inviting targets now more than ever. I'll be back on with Long at Fox 10 News at 5 with more about what businesses can do to prevent themselves from becoming targets. Reporting now for Fox 10 News, this is Brendan Kirby.